Hey guys, welcome to Charger Games, this is Raja and this is going to be a new video series covering how to build a 2D brick breaker game in Unity. Now those of you who have been following my channel, you will know that I already created a video series showing how to build a 2D brick breaker game. Now that series was pretty old, it was probably a year ago and a lot of things have been deprecated. Moreover, that series was not finished. So I thought why not create a new series covering how to build a 2D brick picker game and this time I'm gonna finish this game. And this time I'm gonna also build this game for Windows and Android as well. Okay? So with that being said, let's get started and first of all let us take a look at the game that you're gonna create. So as you can see in the video, this is the game that you're gonna create. And if I press the space bar on my keyboard, the ball goes on. And oops. The ball goes on and now I can move the paddle and control it and this is how the game will look like. Okay, So this is the basic mechanism of Arkanoid or Brick or brick Picker or Bricks whatever game you say. So we're gonna build that from scratch. So with that being said, let's get started building a 2D Brick Picker game in Unity. So as you can see I have opened up Unity and from there I'm gonna click on this new option so that we will create a new project and as you can see here we can give the project name so for the project name let's give us brick game and for the location you can choose any location you want where you actually want to save this project in my case I want to save this at this location in your case unity maybe may give you another default location if you want to change the location just click on this thing and it will give you an option where you wanna save your game. So after that as you can see here we have 2D and 3D option I'm gonna select the 2D option and then I'm gonna click on create project and Unity will create a new 2D empty project for us. So let's do that. So right now after I have clicked on create project Unity is building everything and creating a new empty project for us. So when you open Unity for the very first time, you will have something like this, which is the default layout. But since we are going to build the games and we are going to target these games mainly for mobiles, so it's better if you have a long interface where we actually can work without any interruption. Okay? So if we want to do that, then we need to change your environment a bit so that it will be suitable for our game making. So for that, let's go here. As you can see here we have default written. This is the place from where you can choose different layouts and customize the editor. From here I'm gonna choose this 2x3 layout. As you can see in this 2x3 layout we can see the scene view and game view alongside. Then what I'm gonna do is from here I'm just gonna drag this game window and drop it right there. So as you can see we have scene and game window both side by side and both of them are tall just like our mobile device. Then as you can see we have a very small area so what we can do is we can drag this project tab and drag this project tab and dock it down the hierarchy. So now we have a lot of space where we can work and make our game. Okay? So as you can see this is our scene view and this is our game view and we can see both of them at the same time. Okay? So now next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create few folders where we will actually import all our assets. So as you can see here in the project panel we have this assets folder inside which all of our assets like sprites, scripts, sounds, everything will be there. So let me go ahead and create some new folders. No, so I'm gonna click on create and click on folder and give this folder name sprites. Then I'm gonna again click on here or I can click on here and click on create new folder and I'm gonna name it scripts 
here we will save all our scripts and as for now I think both of them should be good later on whenever we need more folders we will create more and more folders okay so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and choose the resolution as 480 by 800 which will be suitable for most of the mobile devices so as you can see here we have written free aspect I'm gonna click here and from here as you can see I have already created a 480 by 800 layout but if you want to do that you just click on this plus sign and from here for the width you just write 480 for the height you just write 720 and you can level it by anything I have just leveled it by writing 480 by 720 and or you can not write anything and just click OK and it will create a new layout I mean a new resolution or aspect ratio for you so you can just click on that and now your screen is 480 by 720 oops I should have didn't want to do 480 by 720 you had to do 480 by 800 which is more suitable for devices okay so make sure to make it 480 by 800 so now as you can see we have this 480 by 800 resolution which will be suitable for our mobile devices so now let's let us import all the sprites that we need for this game. You can download the sprites from the resource section of this course. I have all the sprites in this folder. So I'm gonna select all the sprites and I'm gonna drag them. I'm just gonna drag them inside my sprites folder. Okay? So if I drag them inside the sprites folder, as you can see, all of this have been imported inside my sprites folder. And all of them have been imported as 2D sprites. Okay, Since we are in 2D mode, so everything have been imported as 2D sprites. So we're going to use these sprites to build our game. So first of all, we're going to create our paddle that will that will be controlled by our keyboard and our mobile device so let's do that so I'm gonna click on this sprites folder and as you can see inside this sprites folder I have these things from there I will choose this red paddle if you are interested you can also use this blue paddle so all you have to do is you just to click this paddle and drag and drop it on the hierarchy so as you can see if I drag and drop it on the hierarchy it is positioned at the center of the screen but since we want the panel to be at this position on our game so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this move tool this is it I'm gonna click on that and by clicking on this green arrow I can move it down wherever I want so I think this position will be uh, good for us so I'm gonna leave it at this position okay so now what I'm gonna do is we need to do something so that we can move this paddle left and right and again we need to do something more so that whenever the ball comes here it can interact with the ball or it can collide with the ball so whenever we want any game object of our game to collide with anything else whenever we want anything to collide with anything else then we need to add a collider to it okay so the collider helps it so to get into collisions with any other game object okay if it doesn't have any collider it cannot collide with anything okay so all you need to do is add a collider to it so while clicking on the panel red I'm just gonna click on this add component button and I'm gonna go to physics 2d and inside physics 2d as you can see here we have different type of colliders we have this box collider circle collider edge collider polygon collider but for this case we're gonna use this box collider option since this is a square this is a rectangle object and box collider which is like a box will be more suitable for it so I'm just gonna click on this box collider 2d and if I now zoom in here if I now zoom in here as you can see in the scene view we have this green outline all over the paddle so that means we have added a collider to it so this is the collider due to which it will be able to perform collisions with any other game object okay 
So after adding the collider, one more thing we need to do is we need to add a rigid body 2D to it. A rigid body 2D adds functionality to add physics to it. So if we want to add any physics forces like we, if we want to add velocity to it so that we can move it, if we want to add some force to it or if we want, to in, if I, if we want it to interact with anything else, then we need to add a rigid body 2D to it. Okay? which will help it to interact with the physics engine of our Unity. So the same way I'm going to click on Add Component, Physics 2D and I'm just going to click on this Rigid Body 2D. Okay? So as you can see this Rigid Body 2D which helps it to get the physics functionality it has many options. It has mass, angular drag, linear drag, schematic, gravity scale and lot of options. Now as you can see, if I go ahead and play this game right now, if I play this game right now, what you will see is the paddle will go down. So as you just saw that the paddle goes down. Why is that? It's because whenever we add a rigid body 2D to our game, it has a gravity functionality. So due to this gravity, it is getting a gravity downwards. So that is why it is going downwards. But in this case, we don't want any gravity for our paddle. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this gravity scale and make it zero. And now if I play the game, as you can see, it stays still at this position. Okay. So this is what we wanted to do with the, with the paddle. Now, if we want the, if we want to control the paddle, if we want to control the paddle and move it left and right, then we need to write some scripts and add it to the paddle by using which we can move the paddle. So, in order to add a script, all you need to do is click on the paddle right the same way. You can then click on add component and at the bottom you can see an option called new scripts. You just can click on that and then from here make sure you have C sharp chosen because we are using C sharp here and for the name of the script let's give paddle script and then click on create and add and as you can see a new script has been added to the paddle so in the next video we will start creating and editing this script so see you in the next video